from Annalise's Creations, Annalise's Creates. I am here to do my creative year 2018. And for this week, it's blue. The color blue. Blue. <laughs> See my hair? It's not permanent. It's temporary hair chalk is what they call it. It's a little messy getting it on. It's like a comb that you comb it through your hair and it's temporary. Cool. It's pretty cool, but blue is just not my color. Um, but anyhow, <laughs> I thought I'd come on and have some fun. And I'm sorry, my dog Maya, as soon as I turn the camera on, she thinks it's time to play. You hear her? <laughs> She's saying hello too, and it is blue this month. So without further ado, I'm going to show you. See, she says, get on to the less, get on to the, what you're going to be doing for the blue for blue, okay? So enjoy my process and thanks for watching. All right, so it is going to be a blue, <laughs> blue day, no, not blue day. Anyways, I am going to create a tag, but before I get to this part, I'm gonna show you this part, all right? So I like to make these, and hang on, I'm going to show you in a second. Be right back. All right, so I like to create these circles. See these? And then I like to create words inside the circles or alongside the circles, depending on my mood, okay? So I'm going to use a blue, blue hues, okay? Different shades of blue. And I'm gonna start with uh, some Derwent Ink Tense pencils. Yes, they are ink and they are water soluble um, for a certain length of time. So I'm just drawing these circles and they don't have to be perfect, all right? They don't have to be exactly perfect, okay? So I'm using, oh, is that really? Yeah, it's deep indigo, okay. All right, so I've got some circles going. I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna do a couple more here. Okay, then I'm gonna take my Tombow markers. Now, you don't have to use Tombow markers. Now, Crayola Crayon makes, Crayola makes these markers that are water soluble, all right? Almost all of their markers are water soluble, okay? So you, if you can't afford expensive art supplies, Crayola does a pretty good job with their art supplies. So I suggest you go out and get yourself some, all right? If you want to do this trick, okay? Or this, I don't want to say trick, but this, this art project. Um, and you need, you kind of need a water soluble markers, okay? And I kind of like to play around with, uh, how I do this sometimes I'll just go put so I'll sometimes do this or I'll come in and I'll do I'll color half of the circle kind of in sort of loosely not perfect okay, on one side and then I'll take another color and go on the other side like this for instance okay and then I'll take a water pit brush pen and come in and wet it down and it does kind of create a cool effect on these and I've picked up the Inktense pencils the Inktense Derwent Inktense so they've kind of gotten wet as well okay and then we'll try this one and see how this one works. And it gives cr pretty cool different, you know, colors in within the circle, different sh hues, all right? And I'm going to do the same thing with these, but I'm going to use a different color this time, slightly different here. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to come in and you're going to do this and then you're going to cut out these circles. And I'm doing this on um, 
Canson brand watercolor paper, 140 pound weight. Okay. Um, and what I like to do a lot of times with these is I like to scan these on my computer and then print them out on my onto computer paper because it's a little bit thinner and it tends to glue better. But you know, to, for today's lesson, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to I'm just going to um, play and then cut them out. I'm going to try the Intense Pencils, see what I get with these. When I wet them down. See what kind of effects I can get with these instead of the markers. Not bad. And then I could even use what's left on my brush to come in and do. And I can leave it, like, you know, add some extra water there, and then take my Tombow marker and go in. Almost like a water brush, okay? So, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I'm going to create a tag today using different colors of blue on this tag for, I'm going to create a background and then I'm going to take the one of these circles that will fit on here, right, to add on to my tag. So I hope that you will enjoy my process as I create this tag. I'm going to do for a stencil of some sort. Let's see what I can create. I kind of got bent from the Travels. Okay. So I've got wax paper on my art table. So I'm not going to get a palette or anything out. I'm just going to use my wax paper as a palette. A makeup sponge, one of my favorite go-to art supply. And this is a metallic paint that I'm using in a blue color. up like this kind of see if the camera's kind of picking it up okay and sometimes I like to layer my um, my stencils so this time I'm going to come in with a Calypso Blue. Mm, this is getting old. It's not mixing very well anymore. 
this is I'm almost had it this blue paint the acrylic paints have a shelf life they don't last forever yeah I should have probably started with this lighter color versus going with the metallic but we'll see what happens So I can come back in and layer with the metallic also. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this and it came out a little crooked, but that's okay. So there you have that one. That looks really cool. I like that. So I don't think I'm going to layer any more on this, but I am going to take a blue oil pastel and I want to just go around the edges of this tag give it a cool effect I like to heat up the oil pastel because it gives it kind of an encaustic effect. So it kind of melts into the paper a little bit. I, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. It's not going to pick it up. But yeah, it kind of melted into the paper. But I kind of like the oil pastel y look. It kind of gives it almost a chalky look, even though it's an oil pastel. Okay, so there's that. And then, um, let's see. I've got this really light blue chiffon. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this will work. This is a good border. Stencil. I'm going to put down at the bottom of this. Some of these paints have been are really old and that's why I'm having trouble getting them out of the bottles but I'm trying to use up what I have before I just go out and buy any new paint so I'm coming in whoops that wasn't supposed to happen but oh well right Fix it a little like that. Give it that look. All right, so I have this fluorescent oil pastel. I'm just going to come in with it over this part of my um, what of my acrylic paint that I wasn't quite happy about. It's going to give it a different effect. And again, because I turned on the, the heat gun, it melted into the paper again. So this part is done, okay? Just a plain, simple card for your My Creative Year 2017. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut one of these out. And it's going to go on my car, on my tag, and I think I like this one. And it's approximately the right size. And I think I'm going to come back in with the ink, the uh, Inktense pencil to go around the circle again once I cut it out. That's what I want. Yep, that'll work. So where is, let's see which one I'm going to use here. I like that one work. No. I like this lighter blue.
I'm going to activate it. And I'm going to go ahead and dry that too. And I do like this light blue, so I'm going to come in and go over. Kind of gives it a cool textured look. And I could even see what happens if I melt it again. And just experiment. That's the way to discover new techniques is don't be afraid to take different media and just play. Just experiment with what you have because you never know what you're going to come up with. Okay, so I'm going to glue this down here. I'm going to, I think I'm going to use some Aline's Tacky glue for that. Or better yet, hmm, I know what I'm going to use. Which would be better for what I need to use it for, anyways. I'm going to use my um, Xyron, turn this into a sticker. It makes it much easier. Sorry, my table shakes, so then it shakes my camera. Um, I don't know why. I've, I've tightened the legs on it. I've checked the, the height of my legs for my table, and it just, I don't know, still shakes. All right, so I'm going to remove it. Hopefully the adhesive will adhere to this well. Sometimes it doesn't. Looks like it did this time. Okay, so here's my tag. Here's my circle. Put it right about there. Pushing it in really good to, so that it adheres better. Yep, there we go. Okay, then I'm just going to take a ballpoint pen and it's black, yes, and I'm going to write something, you know, you could write an inspirational quote for you or, you know, you could write the word blue because we this week it's blue. So I'm going to write, oh, this pen's not working. Of course, I pick up a pen that doesn't work. So let me try another pen here. Let's see if this one's going to work over the waxiness. Yep, this one works over the waxiness. Okay, so I'm going to do blue. Blue. Actually, this isn't going to work. It's starting to lose its um. Sometimes be careful with your pens because some of the pens will not work over uh, waxy stuff. So make sure that um, you test out a small area so you're not ruining your pens because I've done that. And yeah, it's not fun. So I'm going to try my food ball pen. I think this will go over the oil pastels okay because that's something I didn't think about when I grabbed that pen so I think I'm just gonna go ahead When I think I've ruined the tip. Should have used a um so I'm just gonna use this instead. Nope, oh, that's not working either. Okay. We run into a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Yeah, none of these are working on here. For some reason, oh, I'm having issues today. Gonna start over. 
So I'm going to cut another one out. Sometimes live and learn, right? I'm going to show you this on, you know, my issue on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out. And before, I know what I'm going to do this time. I'm not going to go over with the wax crayon first. Okay. All right, got to get my creative station again. ahead and activate it. Normally it goes over, you know, most things, but yeah, that's not, that's done. This one, not, yeah, this one's okay. All right. All right, so I've done it in three different languages. Blue, bleu, and azul. <laughs> so English, French, and Spanish. All right, so there you have it. And then what I'm gonna do is, hang on, I'm not quite done yet, actually. So I wanna come back over with this oil pastel this time. Yep, there we go. I like that effect I've created with it. And in fact, I'm going to go over the whole card with it. I think it looks pretty cool that way. Gives it a very textured look. And there you have it. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And go ahead. I hope to see you make your own blue tag for my creative year and go ahead and check out the Facebook group. I will post a link down at the bottom in the description box below if you haven't already joined. It's not too late to join even though we're into our second month. It's okay. You don't have to go back and catch up. You can if you want but you know it's up to you. And before, I, you know, here, I'm not quite done because I need to put a ribbon for my tag. You don't have to, but I'm going to do it. Try to find something blue. Blue, blue. I did find some blue ribbon. And in fact, it's pretty new. I never even opened this one. So if you have a tag laying around, or if you have a Sizzix Big Shot, like, whoops, oh, great. It's not my day today, guys. It's just not my day. Okay, I can fix it. No biggie. When all, when things don't go your way, find something to repair it with. All right, well, I forgot to turn my camera back on, but I repaired the hole by using some painter's tape at the very top. So now I'm able to put this through. So don't worry if you do something like I did, there's always a way of repairing something. 
before you get frustrated and throw it away. Okay, so I'm going to put this through. And this time I'm not going to pull as hard. I pulled too hard and I didn't realize my own strength. <laughs> All right, so there you have that. And I'm not quite done yet because I decided I'm going to add something else to it. All right, so I'll be right back to get that. All right, so I have this, it looks like a flower kind of thing. My friend Bia Grubb from Bee's Atelier, she um, sent me this quite a while ago in some happy mail and I haven't I've been using some of them little by little because they're really cool you know how you hoard things well, yeah I've quit hoarding things because they got to be used so I've got some bling if you know me if you've been watching my channel enough you'll know that I love my bling so I'm going to put one in the middle of that to create like a cool flower embellishment so there you have it, a simple blue tag, and you could do the words blue or whatever for this week, or you could add a really nice little quote or something on it for your journal for my creative year. So thank you so much for watching, and if you know, if you like what you see, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz, and I shall see you next time. And thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to go check out the group on Facebook, and I'll post a link down at the bottom in the description box below. And I hope that I, you know, if you are part of the group, um, please share your tag, because I would love to see it. So thanks for, for watching. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Toodles.